Hey Kedges Corner, welcome back to the channel. Yes, I know my hair looks slightly different, but it's kind of cute, right? Cute. <laughs> but yes, so let me try to leave my hair on. But <laughs> so if you haven't already noticed, today's topic is going to be about I know it's not topic Tuesday or Thursday, but I just thought I should let y'all know why I chose the school I picked for college. So that's what today's vlog is going to be about. See, I'm ripping my school, Lawson State. Go Cougars. And yes, it is located in Birmingham, Alabama, which is not too far away from my hometown of Phoenix City. But without further ado, let's get into the video. So my top my top five schools originally were listed fr from top from one being the best to five being the lowest one being una university of north alabama two being um lawson state community college three being university of south alabama usa four being um what was my number four? I don't even remember the last two for real. What was number four? Oh, and then four being Alabama and m and five being uh AUM. Yes, okay, there we go. And why were those my top five? U and A, okay, so when I um I visited UNA when I visited them it was for junior day and so which I wasn't a senior yet but like I I was in love with the campus the like the day itself I just felt like it was like home at first that's what I thought and um I met some of the computer science um professors which is if y'all didn't know computer science is my major but um I met with some of the professors and they were telling me some classes that they advised me to take in high school or before I get there and stuff like that. And so um, I was in, I ended up taking APCSP, which is um, computer science principles. And the class helped a lot, um, it was beneficial. Uh, but they were telling me at the junior day that if I made a three or higher on the that test at the end of the year that it would take off like some of my hours so I wouldn't have to be like in the the first few classes like the big for beginners and so I ended up taking that class uh and yeah okay what school is next but UNA is a very good school um I still Another reason why I didn't want to go to a four-year, um, because I was going to retake the ACT, but in February during basketball season, sadly, I had a concussion during area tournament. I got a concussion area game when we played Auburn. So I was out for a while. And then that was the day, which, okay, the area game was on a Friday. And the next morning, I was supposed to take the ACT. So... I was like, uh, I hope I'll be in tech ACT. You know, I'm still worried about tests. Cause I'm like, I need this test so I can get into, get a better, you know, better placement in college classes at UNA. And so I had to get rushed to the urgent care. My mom came and got me from the school and I was rushed to urgent care. And so because not only did I have a concussion, I had a shortness of breath because a girl had like choked me and like she bruised my throat. And how how did you get choked in the basketball game and still get the foul? That's the crazy thing, y'all. I still got the foul. But she claimed she was just rebounding, which we were going up for a rebound, but like she came over the back and like she was trying to get the ball out of my arm. And she like had me like this. And so, I had a bruised throat, and so I, I my I could feel like my breath getting like shorter and shorter. So 
my mom rushed me to the urgent care. And by that, by the time I got to the urgent care, my, my breathing started going back to normal, but I had a very like sore throat and it was still sort of hard to breathe. So the doctor was like, well, we're gonna do some x-rays. So I took x-rays and all, and then they told me that I, she was like, young lady, do you have anything important that you need? She's like, you, well, my results came back. They, they did an x-ray on my head and on my throat. They said I had a bruised throat and then they said I have a mild concussion. And so I was like, do you have anything important coming up? Because if so, you're probably not gonna be able to do it. And I was like, oh my gosh, I just paid for the ACT. Like, and y'all know they don't like to do refunds. So I'm like, that's like 60 something dollars, however much the test cost. I'm like, down the drain because of a freaking concussion that I got in a game. How I got a concussion is because I hit my head on the ground. I got knocked down, so I hit my head pretty hard on the floor. <sighs> but yes, a concussion is not fun. Trust and believe. Because you can't do anything. You have to be in complete darkness. No phone, no TV, no sunlight, no nothing. Or it's going to cause your head to hurt like 10 times worse than it already does because any light any straining is going to hurt so i was pretty much had a done deal okay so number two lawson y'all like why did you pick your number two right but anyway so lawson okay last summer summer of 2019 july 20 2019 I took I went to a coding camp at Lawson and it's called aspiring young something I don't know but it's for young girls that are going to the STEM program make plan on measuring into in the STEM program you don't have to necessarily be like about to go to college you can be young younger I think it's just like middle school to like high school girls but yeah, so I went to the camp. It was amazing. I had a great time. It was nice being on campus. And a thing about Lawson, Lawson is, um, they have Apple, Apple, um, like Macs and stuff. And so at the camp, I learned more about like Python. Well, like they, they went over the different coding languages, which is, if you're if you're not familiar with computers, Python is one, Java, JavaScript, um, what's another big one? I can't really think right now. Um, but yeah, and so it was a really nice experience for me. I enjoyed it. I met some new friends, and I was really nervous because I was like, and I'm not usually a nervous the nervous type, but I was with. I, I bonded quickly with the two girls that sat beside me because we were like, like if we missed a step, we would ask each other like, hey, what's she say about this part? We end up creating our app, which most coders end up making when they first um, start coding, which is welcome to, welcome to, who are we? Welcome to my app, what is that app called? I don't know but I'll insert the video from the camp in here. But yes, so I learned how to do that. It was very fun, I learned how to code and seeing your code like transfer and like work, actually work. Because if you code something incorrectly, it is not going to function right. But yes, and the calf was good So and I like to eat. So it, if the food is good there, then definitely. Uh, what else about Lawson? The camp is not too big, not too small. And I, I just, and I, I tried out for different teams. I consider, I'm considering playing sports at Lawson. And yes, but I really love the campus. It's not too big, not too small, and it's not far, too far away from home, which according to UNA, that's like four and a half no, four, four and a half to five hours away from home because they're in Florence, Alabama, which is not too far from Huntsville. So, yeah. But Lawson, Lawson was, 
Well, so what's good? I enjoyed my trip there. I'm gonna come back in after I finish talking about the other ones to explain truly why I picked Lawson more over the other one. Okay, my number three was South Alabama. Okay, so you know how, okay, so your senior year, if you don't know this, most um, colleges, they start, you're gonna, for one, I went to a college fair at Russell County. Our school traveled, they took us, they took us to a college fair. And I talked to all these different colleges. And um, South Alabama, they were there. So they, of course, at each table, they get your information and they start like mailing you stuff or texting you or emailing you. And so Miss um, Catherine, um, she kept she kept coming to the school and visiting us and then she would keep in contact with me. And I was like, Oh, I'm really considering South. I had Zoom meetings set up when Corona happened, so I could keep in touch. Um, I started applying for own at at the school scholarships and stuff. I was looking at residency, and so I was really feeling South. I was like, I know it's the opposite direction of the state. Like it's below where I live. It's like uh, four hours away the other direction. But, um, and I was, the only thing about South was that I was like, uh, my ACT score and the long stretch, like going to Mobile is like 187 miles. Like, after you get like past the Selma exit, it's like you're, you're straight for like a hundred something miles. And that's like a boring stretch and uh, that would make me sleepy on the way home, which is not good because you can't fall asleep in the road because it's very dangerous. Okay, my number four, Alabama a and Alabama a and was my first acceptance. Go Bulldogs. Um, my mom is a um, alumni of a and and my sister is recently an alumni of a and and her boyfriend is as, well, is as well. My sister gra recently graduated with her master's in kinesiology. And my mom graduated with logistics and business administration. And my sister's boyfriend, Jordan, graduated from a and with his um, bachelor's in mechanical engineering. So as you can see, Alabama a and is all around me. And so I, my mom has been like dressing me and my sister up and album and them stuff since we were kids. And I just was like, well, this is definitely gonna be a part of my life sometime soon. And so I was like, I don't wanna just pick the school because this is where my family went. And people was like, don't let that be a decision that, that, that makes you persuade and go there. And I was like, I know I'm not gonna let that happen. But I, um, after I left the Lawson camp, me and my mom traveled up to Huntsville to go on a visit to a and So I went on my visit, I saw my department and my building and all like this. And I was like, hmm, I like a and but I don't know if a and for me right now. And I was like, yeah, I was like, I love Hill, but not right now. And so, yeah, so I just I just put Anum in my top five because I was like I really I like Anum. I just don't think I can go there right now. It's like my first school. My number five is AUM. AUM. Um, my number five was AUM. I liked AUM because it was like an hour away from home in Montgomery. Uh. The, I don't remember the lady that was our, um, our like designated person for our school, but she came a lot as well. And I met her at the college fair, but I liked the AUM because I was like, it's not too far from home and they don't have class on Friday. And like some, some people I knew from in high school, they were like, they were considering going there. So I was like, yes, that'd be good. And I had somebody to room with. But no, Adrian, um, I think they were my second or third acceptance. But um, at AUM, I had got put on a bridge program. And so I was like, no, I don't want to waste no time. And 
once again, I needed that ACT score. So as you can see, the concussion really threw me off because I needed to take the ACT to get a better score to get to some of these schools that I want to. Okay, so the true reason why I picked Lawson. Okay, when I went to the camp, it just like, I enjoyed the campus itself. And then um, Lawson, they continued to reach out to me and all. And um, I was like, it's in Birmingham, it's not too far from home. I was like, the food's good. <laughs> the food's good. It's a junior college, so they don't, it doesn't, the main reason is because it was a junior college and they don't, your GPA is what gets you in, not your ACT. And ACT was just knocking me out left and right at the other schools that I wanted to go to. So I was like, yes, this is definitely the school for me. And I, I prayed to God and I was reading and it was some stuff at the other school. It was like giving me like red flags, like, no, you don't need to go there. That's not for you. And also the expenses of college. I was like, well, I can use my Europe because I'm part, I participated in a Europe program in high school. And so I was like, I can use that if I don't qualify for, for Pell. I can use my gear up at Lawson and have my tuition and fees paid for. And so Lawson, uh, God sent me a sign that Lawson was definitely for me. I just, Lawson just felt like home and it is home now. So, but after I finish at Lawson, I do plan on picking Alabama a and which I recently said that I was gonna recent go to a and Park eventually. So I plan as of right now, I plan on going to a and after my two years at Lawson, but things may change. But as of right now, I do plan on going to a and after Lawson, my two years are up at Lawson. So Lawson is, I'm excited about classes in the fall yet we won't be able to be on campus well that's for right now what they're saying so most of my classes are virtual but i'm excited about the new you know getting out of phoenix city and moving to birmingham to you know grow up and get my degree my associates in computer science then later on get bachelor's and then on to my master's so lawson is definitely for me and like I said, um, make sure you pick the right school for you because no matter where your friends go, they're not you. You have to pick what's right for you. So I hope you guys like this video today. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment below. And see you guys in the next vlog. Oh, I keep forgetting to talk about my birthday. Okay, so this is day four of the birthday countdown vlog. So, 12 days to my birthday. Hey, 12 days to my birthday. So yes, let's, let's keep counting down. Bye guys.